Gary Wagner here, almost 10.30 in Honolulu, 4.30 in New York, on Monday, the 21st day of October, 2013, and this is uh, the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. We have unchanged to slightly lower pricing in gold and moderately higher pricing in silver. First to silver, and you can see we're looking at a 720-minute chart, half-day candles, you can see the body size of the most current trades in silver. They're fairly strong. They have a lack of lower tail. Currently trading up about 28 cents, 22.19. The high 22.43 and the low 21.99. Silver currently trading off about a dollar on the day. You can see a real distinction in the size of these bodies as we take a look at them. And we now have a red candle forming on the Japanese average chart right in here. So you can see underlying weakness coming in in gold and some strength in silver. We'll talk about that all on today's daily report. I guess the best way to characterize how gold is trading in the range that it's in is it's kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. And this is what I mean. When we take a look at our short-term chart, this is the 720 that we just looked at, we had a clear and defined breakout. We simply looked at these series of tops here and extended our resistance line down. And we absolutely, without a question of a doubt, had a break above that particular resistance area. However, when we take a look at our daily chart, and we talked about this a little bit on Friday, we had our compression triangle, we went out of the triangle, and the interesting thing is if you look at where resistance has fallen in the marketplace, it is just at the upper level of this former support, which I now believe is resistance, rock hard play. So we're absolutely caught between those two points. And as we are, my sense is that I want to see it break either below this resistance would signal a short or back into this compression zone and that would tell us that we have built our base, 1250 is held and we're probably gonna see higher pricing. However, in between these two points, we're simply putting a, not a guess so much, but a trade on which has a unrealistic probability, meaning a 50-50% chance of being successful, and that's absolutely not the kind of trade that I would recommend. Again, we're butt up against resistance. We are over this resistance line here, but this is now our resistance, roughly 1320, and then we have major resistance at 1330. Now, of course, we're looking at a weekly chart and the week obviously is quite quiet. The key right now is that on one hand, we are waiting for a report to come out tomorrow and that's the jobs report. However, it's highly unlikely, almost regardless of what that report says, that we're going to see the Fed talk about tapering. I don't think in this economic state that we're currently in, you're going to hear talk about tapering. And the jobs report, though, will give us a, a key indication of how the economy fared over the partial U.S. government shutdown. So we'll just have to wait and see. But when we take a look at the straight patterns within the candlesticks, on a weekly chart, we don't get an engulfing bullish, nor do we get a piercing line because of the fact that this opened was well into the black candle, the prior day candle. But what we can say is we absolutely have definitive support in the market between call it 1242 and 1250. Now, another thing that I feel is noteworthy and something that we should take a look at today, and, and that is to revisit the triple harmonics, this real level of resistance that we identified. And what it is, is simply a series of different fib retracements in different lengths, meaning the lows that they're, they're coming from. The two that are on the screen, of course, is 725 here and about 1200, 1190 here. And this starts really down at the beginning of a rally down at about 
300 dollars way back and so that gives us our, our third and when we look at that we get this band of harmonics of 50 percent 38 percent and 76 percent all respectively in terms of where they are derived from and this harmonics meaning fibonacci retracements areas that are very very close together forms this real resistance band now we are away from that resistance band it really starts at around uh, 1330 but should this market carry on some steam it's going to have to begin to break through these various resistance levels and those resistance levels in my opinion on a technical basis are pretty substantial so it's absolutely something we want to take a look at my sense right now my sense right now is that what we'll probably experience we had this wave up here which we are now looking at as an abc or wave four let's in fact go ahead and, and put our bear count up and the other chart is that i'm really using it for is that uh, particular band those those three different fibonacci retracements that come in in a harmonics because in my assessment right now, the bear count is the only count that really makes any kind of tangible sense. And as I said, we had our, our A, our B, and our C. We're probably in wave five. We had a nice little uptrend. What I talked about is that I would look for that uptrend and a continuation of the downtrend. I still think that the bias right now is to the downtrend, or to the downside, excuse me, until it really begins to address on a technical basis and break above this upper level resistance line we failed to take that out on this last big rally as this market comes down it really has to be able to excel and exceed this resistance before we can by any stretch of the imagination say that we've gone into some sort of a bullish cycle now, when we take a look at silver, silver is reacting a little bit different than gold. It's showing a lot more strength than gold. And when we take a look at our weekly chart, even on the Japanese average charts, they have begun to go green. You can see this weekly chart has begun to go green. That's simply saying that it's trading above the prior week's midpoint and has stayed above that midpoint. That's what green signifies, a lack of... Uh, lower tail signifies that it never traded into the area of the midpoint and so although it is small it does appear as though that could be a pivotal candle we had a very very strong support that came in when we took a look at different areas and that was roughly at around uh, 2060 so we do have a slight different market when we compare our silver to how gold has been trading this has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading and we'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.